Uh, okay, levitating. This uh, uh, this song is just very overplayed. Like, I'm not sick of it anymore. Like, I've been changing it for so many months that I'm not sick of it anymore. Even if I go through phases where I will still be sick of it. But, you know, I like the instrumental. The instrumental is very dancey. Sometimes I listen to it, it makes me move. And I like the baby's I like the baby's verse and I like everything about it really, but it's just the overplay that makes the that make this drink on me an awful lot. Way too long. This is this this song. I'm not so bothered by the rap ring anymore. It's just a song that plays lower on the list now. Like it's um it's a you know, it sound it sounds pretty good. Like the instrument sounds pretty good. It sounds very unique from my usual Leighton Daw song. And then Ruby sounds good in it as well, but it's just uh you know, the song I just I still kind of have the same feelings towards even if I don't mind the rapper's verses. Like, the lyrics are still just as more problematic, but I don't think about them as much. Okay, uh, I heard this with my dad in the car, and he said it was horrible. <laughs> I can understand why, because it's just not a song that he would like. This is, a uh, I don't know, it's just, I like the instrumental, I like the rapping, I like, I like the lyrics, I like everything about it. It's, uh, it's something I haven't got sick of, even if I've heard it, like, I don't know, like, maybe 50, 30 times at this point. So, eh, you know, it's an enjoyable song. Just I just always put it lower because that's just how I feel. Our song, this is a very nice, sweet song. Like it felt like this was taking forever to be released because like it felt like a lot of horror movies were like like announced it like six months ago when then Amber Ray talked about it like a week before and it like came out and then it came out. It felt like a really long time waiting because artists don't really usually hear the news announcing songs between artists. Well the instrumental sounds nice, the lyrics are very sweet, and they both do a really great job, so they're singing. So let's hear Nell Horn on the radio again, and Anne Marie. Like they're both very talented artists. They're, uh, you know, just great to hear this, to hear a song for them. Besides, like Anne Marie does tons of collaborations. Well, Nell Horn, I think the only one I rem I can recall him doing is like that Seeing Blind song with Marin Morris. I think he's done more, but that's just the only one I can remember. Like I think he, I know another one he did, but I don't know the name of the artist. Betty. I definitely think Blue makes have a much darker sound now than they, us they they usually do. I don't know if that's the word, but I just feel like dark is the word to use for their new music. It's just very trappy and deep bass and all that. It's just hard to describe. I just think dark is the best word to describe sweet melody in this. Eh, that's especially this is even more so. It's just uh, kind of a very bleak sounding song, like trappy and all that. So like, but I think it still sounds really good. Like the, and I like the lyrics and the singing. Like. I didn't really recognize that Jessie was on it. At one point, I thought they had her out because she left the group, but, but you know, she didn't. She was at the game of the song. But, and, I don't know, uh, I don't know the name of that rapper, Sweetie, I think her name is. Uh, you know, she does a fine job. She sounds an awful, really, I think a lot of these female rappers kind of sound like either Cardi B or Nicki Minaj, but, you know, or Megan The Stallion. In my head, I'd always confuse the, her, her verse with the, with the verse, with Megan The Stallion's verse and Beautiful Mistakes, but, you know, she does a good job anyway, and, it, you know, this this is just a really well done song. I don't think I'd be changing. I'd get sick of it. <laughs> but this is a, uh, uh, I don't know, like I like the instrumental on this, like the lyrics and my mom was pointing out the if you sleep on the left side, move to the right. Like I like the lyric too, the lyric too. I just didn't notice it before. My mom pointed pointed out that she thought that was sweet. My mom likes the song a lot more than I do, and. And, uh, you know, I like the scene as well. This is uh, just a really well-produced song. I don't think I'll be getting sick of Like, I got sick of every other Joel Corey song. I don't know. Like, I wasn't, I, I wasn't listening to the radio too much when so when Sorry by Joel Corey came out, even if I heard the song. So, I don't know if I would have gotten sick of that. But I got sick of the other two, though. The Before Before You Love Me. This is, uh, I don't know, I re-listened to this song because I didn't really remember what it was like the first time I heard it. You know, it's really good. It's a really good song with, like, you know, really nice instrument, with a really nice instrumental. I think the first time I was listening to this, I was just so amazed by Nick Jonas's voice in this. Like, and it still sounds great. And, and same with, same with uh, Joe Jonas and the lyrics are nice too and instrumental and all that. But really, Nick Jonas is like the best part of this song. I just really love his voice. I just. I wasn't, I'm sorry I deleted that video, I was, but I was like really, but so I couldn't express how much I love it, but I just love his voice. I don't know why, uh, yeah, this is, uh, like, my favorite song from Leah Hart so far, from the two songs I've heard from her. Uh, like, the instrumental is really great, it's really great and nice, and I like her, I love her voice, and I love the say, the saying of, of it, and, and the lyrics are very like sweet and kind of curious like that's how to describe it where she just asked a lot of questions it's like really sweet and it seems like it was written from a very genuine place 
Kiss Me More. This uh, Kiss Me More, this song has gone a bit overplayed. And, like, even if I do feel a bit sick of it, I kind of don't feel like changing it either. Like, it's... Uh, like, the instrumental sounds, sounds really nice. I think, like, both Doji Cat and Sizzle do a really great job on it. I really love their voice, the way the voices sound in some parts of it. And, I like, the lyrics are very nice, too. And, like, I really love that one time, The Weeknd, just posted posted the lyrics, Can You Kiss Me More, on his Twitter. That was really, that was really cool, because I've never seen him do that. Maybe it was to promote the fact that he was going, that he was going to, like, sing with Doji Cat at some point. I don't know. I haven't heard any more news about that. When is that going to be released? I really, really want to hear it. Yeah, cigarette mirror. Uh, this is like a really nice dance that dance song. Uh, like I didn't really rec I didn't really like when I first heard the first verse of it. I thought like her voice matured and all that. Like when her voice sounded a lot lower, a lot lower. But then there was a chorus that sounded exactly like her. You know she doesn't change too much. And she has a really nice dancey pop sound. That's kind of more he's inspired this time around because that's a big trend. It's a uh, really it's a really well produced song and the lyrics are very positive and. Probably like inspiration though for someone who might have like maybe body issues or any other kind of insecurities. Okay, this song has shrunk on me significantly. Like I still keep it on and I still like it, but I don't like it as much as I did before because beforehand it was always in the top 10 or the top 11 of these lists. But uh, this is a really great, uh, like I really love the instrumental on this and I love like the lyrics and like his his flow and saying like i remember i've done this is very catchy as well because i've saying this to myself an awful lot like i heard i was watching todd in the shadows review and i found it interesting that he said that if you listen if you say more terry you're gay so i guess every time i do sing this i, I am temporarily a gay man <laughs> anyway okay the bis the business by tiesto uh, I really like and this is this is definitely grown on me on me more like I like it more than Montero which is something I didn't think I would really be saying at this point so uh, the, instrum the instrumental sounds really great like it's a great sounding D E D E D M deep house song and uh, and, uh, and the lyrics are pretty obvious but I don't I don't care like they're well written and also the singer sounds really good in this as well anyway I just need to 